Known as a body fix coach, he's passionate about helping people get out of pain and get back to living their best life and truly believes that movement is medicine. Let me introduce you to James Bacon. Welcome to the show, James. James Bacon. I'm doing very well for a Tuesday. I started to change over my business uh, just before COVID pandemic wiped me out. Um, and then I was just asking my clients because I was thinking about changing and one of them said to me, well, you're, you're the body fix coach. And I was like, am I? <laughs> and it's just sort of gone from there, really. So, yeah, now it's all branded up and uh, I'm the body fix coach. Can you hear me okay? All right, how many fingers have I got up? You're a magician. You've been cheeky. <laughs> oh, could you only see four or could you see four? I can hear you okay. Right, don't, don't think in between. Right, so, okay, how many fingers have I got up now? That was the lagging. Yeah. But did you think in between or was that the lagging? I was actually one of those people during COVID. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> I love the honesty. You yeah. Know, we can relate to you then. Absolutely. So, yeah, I, I went from a busy business that I had about 75 in-person clients in the gym wow. to about four. <laughs> Let's just rewind a bit. How did you get into fitness? Was it an early age passion you had on the go there? It definitely was not. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, so I was pretty overweight up until about the age of 19. Um, I think I was about 19 stone, something okay. like that. Uh, and then, yeah, one of my friends said to me, do you want to come to the gym? And I was like, what are you on about? What's that? I don't even know what a gym was. Um, <laughs> I didn't like pee at school, <laughs> hated exercise. Uh, it just went from there, really. So I think I lost about... Well, eight stone in about two years just going to the gym every day wow. and then i was like oh, i quite enjoyed that it's changed my life so why why not try and help other people so yeah qualified to be a personal trainer i've been to the gym and i haven't been for a while and yeah. I've, I've come away and the next day i can't walk because i've pushed myself yeah How, is that good yeah. or bad pain yeah, we see this all the time. People, yeah, they, they get back into an exercise plan. They go to the gym. They can't sit on the toilet for the next week. Um, <laughs> so yeah, th th this is the, this is called uh, volume, uh, the volume of the training. So I think, like you just said, walk walking is a great exercise, um, a great starting place just to get out and do some steps every day, uh, just to start seeing how your body responds. Because ultimately, we need to listen to the feedback of the body of what's going on, right? So. I love this today. Um, I hope, you know, the people who are listening on uh, to this will be thinking, gosh, you know, it's nice to, to listen to a human being who does talk about moderation, knows his stuff. I, I class it in three different, three different areas. So you've got Donald Duck, Pink Panther and Quasimodo, right? <laughs> love it. I love it. <laughs>